In the previous video, I show you how to install and run private GPT on your Mac OS. I will provide the link in description of this video for your convenience. So in today's video, I am going to show you how to install and run private GPT in your Windows system. We go step by step in this video. Using private GPT, every interaction with your documents or files happens exclusively within your execution environment, uh, ensuring 100% data security. I will provide the GitHub link in my description so you can get more info about this. Now we have to install Miniconda for our Windows, which helps us to create an environment for our model. Click on Miniconda Installer for Windows. Then choose the second option, which links with the Python version. At last, click on Windows 64 bits option to start downloading process. It is a prox of 70 MB. Afterwards, open the location where our Miniconda is downloaded. Double click on Miniconda. Click on Next. Click on I agree. Choose the option Install for me, then click on Next. Click on Next. Check the box like I have ticked the boxes and ensures that second option box must be ticked. After click on Install, and it will start installing. At last, click on Finish. After this, we have successfully downloaded Miniconda in our system. After completing this, go to Windows Search and type Anaconda. Click on Run as Administration. Now we have to create a separate environment. For this, use this command to create a new environment with name Private GPT. After this, type Y and hit Enter to proceed. Now to activate the environment which we have, create Use this command. After this, we are inside our environment. Now we are fully prepared to go step by step and set up our model. Step 1. Clone or download the Git repo. Now we have to two option. Either you copy the repo or download the repo zip file. I am going to download the zip file. After download the zip file, locate the file. Right click and extract the zip file. Now I am just rename the file for my convenience. Open the folder and see the path of the folder. Now go back to your terminal and type cd download, which change directory to downlayod, because our the zip file, which we have downloaded, is present inside download, like we have seen in path. After this, write cd private gpt. After this, we are inside our private gpt folder. Let me clear the screen. Step two, install poetry. Use this command to install. Here, Poetry is installed as a dependency manager, and it is then used to install the required project dependencies. It will take some time. Now type pip x install poetry. This line installs the poetry package manager using pip x. Pip x is a tool to install and run Python applications in isolated environments. Now our poetry package is installed. Now type this command. This line updates the system's path environment variable to include the directory where Poetry's executable scripts are located. This allows you to run the Poetry command from any directory in the command prompt or terminal. After this use, this command. This command installs additional packages that provide a user interface for Poetry. But we are getting some error, so if you are also getting error like this, then we have to use this command before executing our command. Now write the same command from which we were getting error. Now it's work. And start installing the dependencies and packages. It will take some time to download. Step 3. Prepare and run the application. This is our last step. Type cd scripts, which change the current directory to scripts. Afterwards type ren setup setup. .py. This is used to convert a directory named setup into a Python package. After this type cd, which change the current working directory to the parent directory. After this type poetry run python scripts slash setup.py, then hit enter. 
Now type set pgpt profiles equal local. Now type set python path dot equals and hit enter. Now type this last command to finish the setup process. And do not afraid after seeing this long codes because I will provide my article link in description from where you can get all the codes with proper instruction. Now we get our link to host our private GPT. Copy the link and paste it to your web browser. Your interface will look like this. You can ask any question to this like chat GPT and enjoy your personal chat GPT. We value your feedback. Feel free to share your thoughts, questions, or suggestions in the comments section below.